Hello and welcome back to Speed Freak Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. Today I will be working with only these lights on to try and simulate what it will look like when the curtain is up. Um, so just a little bit less light. Um, I want to see if I need to invest in some lights to mount or at least to put next to the lift to give us extra light, but we'll see. So anyway, um, <clears throat> our girl Koneko here drained her oil overnight. Uh, so we're gonna just really quickly clean this up. And then Okay. Then that we're gonna put this back in. And then the oil filter will go back on. I probably should put an X on it. I'm gonna start pulling bolts off today, so we'll be bagging and tagging. Hopefully this marker works after being out here in the freezing cold. So X, X, please don't use this filter. Whoever I sell the motor to, obviously I would tell them, hey, <laughs> you got no oil and you need a new filter, but you never know. So. Uh, okay, just barely put it on there. And uh, real quick, I would like to thank uh, WRXER, WRXER, he's a YouTube channel. Uh, he's not too far from me. I've met him before at Cars and Coffee. He said that the engine comes out the top, or at least that's how they did it where he works. So that's pretty cool. Um, Cause that means I want to bet. <laughs> and it also means to me, I can take the turbo off with the engine so I think there's a bolt here to lift the engine and then probably in the back and then hopefully we can just lift the engine tilt it and then pull it out with the transmission I don't know we'll see so that that gives me some hope um, yeah anyway thank you sir thank you so uh, how did this get over here I think my friends were in here last night working on their car. Interesting. Okay, anyway, so, uh, I wonder, uh, what was that, a 14 for the oil drain bolt. Okay, we're going up. All right, so I'm gonna call that good. So we got our drain bolt. <clears throat> Which doesn't really have any more metal shavings on it than it normally does. So that's a good sign. Just, just get it a little snug so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. And then we gotta get this oil out of the way before I step on it and spill it all over the freaking place. And uh, I got some jugs to drain it into, but I won't make you guys watch that. that <laughs> not something you guys need to worry about. Okay. Uh, just take it off to the local auto zone. 
I'm very happy that AutoZone takes oil, although they don't always seem to enjoy the company. Uh, okay. That's some nasty black oil for being a fresh oil change. That's very worrisome. So now we are gonna try and speed this job up a little bit. Uh, okay, I think they're 12s and 10s. Now it sucks as this little driver I have isn't powerful enough to break them loose on its own. I'm gonna go up another one. Okay, it's not really uh, strong enough to break them loose on its own. <clears throat> so I just gotta pop them myself. Uh, and then uh, which ones have to come from, I think these. <clears throat> Just standing here under the lift, I feel like a hypocrite because it's making this work so much easier than laying on my back. Okay. That's it. And then those stay. And then I get that one. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think here. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, oh, yep, yep, yep. Hold on. I gotta get a. Gotta get these little pop clips out, hopefully without breaking them. If you use a screwdriver from both sides, I can guarantee you, you'll have way better luck than if you don't. Except when they're covered in shit from being on the road. I usually replace these every time anyway, cause you can get, get them pretty cheap off of Amazon as long as you look for the right size. What is the deal? Okay. And it is ah. Ooh, I just stabbed myself with a screwdriver. That's wonderful. Okay, where's my bags? I'm gonna call this. Try to make these bags consolidated because I had way too many last time. Skid plate. Okay. Throw you fuckers in there. cold in here. I wish I could <laughs> turn up the heat, but that would not be good on my bill. Bills. <clears throat> okay. Do the tens first. And then there's little washers I use to try and shore up the strength of this thing because it kept getting hit. <sighs> Just got to 
make sure that I grab them. Okay, I think that's all of those. Got dirt in my mouth. Ugh. Okay, it seems like the light's okay. It's a little dark under the car, but if I can get like a little soft box light and just stick it down there and point it up, I think we'll be okay. Um, my soft boxes are, well, those are on big, tall stands for green screen, so I don't know if those would even work. Be, we'll see. Now, this is the fun part, because this thing just kind of falls on you. No, not in the oil. Oh, fuck, my luck. No, son of a bitch, fuck. God, I feel so dumb. Yep, that's just my luck. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Now the hard part here. Wait. Mm, nah. Okay, so I gotta elbow it to keep it from falling. And then. And I did the same thing when I was just laying under on the ground as I just held it up with my head or my elbow or whatever. Man, these bolts are nasty. I probably have to get clean these up somehow. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Whew. That's nice. Okay. Start lining these up somewhere. Start sticking them here. Keep them in order if I can. Not that an order is going to matter with a full engine swap, but. And this, these shelves are supposed to be for car parts that are like long term storage, like all these Porsche parts. But as I just said, we have all these Porsche parts. <laughs> so. My long terms, and we got some leftover construction stuff I still need to move. Like that, that does not belong there. This belongs over here. I don't know why that's there. Just bump the camera. Crap. Okay. This big vacuum thing, that's a tool. Tools don't belong on the storage bench. Okay, all right, so now we at least have some storage space. Okay, so you can see the headers are all torn up because the skid plate kept touching them. Now what's cool is these two repairs I made, this stuff actually kind of sort of held together, which is cool, but not like it matters now. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how I would even store the engine because you can't set the engine down on this stuff. So let's see, there is a subframe. 
and the subframe holds. Oh man. So you could, you could pull the engine from the bottom. That's possible. That's how they did it at the factory. And then you could use the subframe. Man, I don't know. I feel like going out the top would be way easier. Maybe take the starter off to get the starter. Shit, I forgot to pull the battery. You know, take the starter off to get the starter out of the way. Um, and then pull the engine straight up and out. The transmission drain plugs right here. We need to do that. Uh, the drive shaft's got to come down, which means the exhaust has to i rather just keep... No, because it's attached to the transmission. How do you even mount an exhaust when you do an engine swap? Because you won't have an exhaust mount anymore. Oh man, it's all covered in oil. God, that fucking rear seal is leaking somehow. Oh man, that's garbage. That basically means the whole exhaust system has to be redone for an engine swap, is what I'm seeing. Fuck. <clears throat> okay, anyway, the transmission fluid needs to drain, which means the car needs to go back down. sizing on that before we put the car back down. Nope, that's not right. There we go. I believe that is a... Not too big. Oh, shit. Whoever designed this adapter kit, why would they use a quarter inch on that? I thought I had a better... No, it's the same, and it looks like it broke it. Oh wait, here, I have better ones though. I don't know if I call them better, but I have a different style over here that uses the right driver size. Nope. Okay, let's try this one. And we don't need an extension. Might need a hammer, if I knew where my hammer was. I don't know where my rubber mallet is. It's kind of frustrating because it's... Ah, okay. All right, we'll leave it like that. Wow, oil's already coming out of that. Okay. Get the car back down so we don't splash oil everywhere. Whoops. Okay, so this lift's kind of different. Since it's a cheaper lift, I mean, it's still a nice lift, but it's a little low in cost. So you cam over that lock and cam over that lock and then definitely shouldn't be under the car and then you can drop it. Oof. Need new brakes if I, whenever I finish this job. Definitely need new brakes. Okay, so we're gonna go pretty low and then we gotta go back up to re-engage the cams on the locks. Otherwise, you're not being smart. Okay. <clears throat> One more. Okay, so where'd that pan go? I definitely need to find some, uh, some, what's it called? Soft box lights for underneath here. So, it's not as far back as I always seem to make the mistake of. Okay, please not get this shit all over myself. 
Pretty sure this thing's magnetic. This pisses me off because I just freaking put this stuff in here when I changed the clutch maybe a thousand miles ago. It's a good selling point. Brand new clutch, blown engine. Ooh, ooh. Forgot it's got a little temperament. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Let's take a look at that in the light. Ooh, that shit smells. That does not look good. That's a lot of metal shavings. I mean, I don't know if it's more than normal, but wow. Definitely not gonna be able to get a very good price for this. That sucks. Okay. Got my tool. And you don't need to pull the fill plug from that to drain it because it can just suck air from the bottom. It's a very small system. So, now we need to let that drain overnight. <laughs> so that's it for today uh, sorry for the short video or sorry for the long video depending on <laughs> who you are <laughs> oh can I go I don't know I don't think I'm going to miss this motor I miss the car I not gonna miss the motor all right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget our t-shirts, and I will see you next time.